as you look at the uh, final score there, it's, uh, you guys got a pretty convincing win, but how much did you have to work for it? Oh, we had to work a lot. Down 11 in the first half. Uh, you know, we just didn't shoot the ball really well in the first half. In the second half, we shot the ball extremely well. Uh, don't know what we did magical. We just started making some shots. And when, when high school kids make shots, it just makes them get a little more energized in what they're doing. And our defense kind of picked up a little bit after that. And we were able to catch them pretty early in the third quarter and kind of then was able to just kind of play at our pace at that point in time. What changes did you have to make at halftime? Well, I think they just changed. Our kids just changed in terms of their intensity for the game, uh, their purpose with their with with their play and when they do those kinds of things then we can be a, we have a chance to be a pretty decent team but I just think they're in their attention to detail was a lot better in the second half yeah I got here after the uh, the <laughs> run there but in the fourth quarter you guys were down two going to the fourth quarter I think you went on a 14-0 run yeah uh, is it just that your team just gets in a groove well we hit we hit some shots from the perimeter and then you know Parker and Bracken were attacking the basket in a pain against the against their press and once they were able to get to the rim and, and go to the, go to the free throw line it just opens the game up a little bit more for other guys. Uh, Cooper made some big threes to kind of make them have to get out, and then it opened up the inside. When those guys get going on the inside, it opens up the outside for Cooper. So uh, we just start. We, honestly, we just made shots. We started playing a lot more aggressive on both ends of the floor. Can you put into perspective what it means to get a win to start this busy uh, couple of days? <laughs> well, you know, when you put this together in June, it sounds really good to play f four games in two days. But once you actually get into it, it's really difficult and demanding on your players. So getting that first one's a big mental block and a, and a big mental edge for you to go into that second game. So we're looking forward to the opportunity to continue to play. And also big perspective. This is a you have to kind of an inconsistent start. Now it's three straight wins for you guys. What can that do for your team? Well, I think the big thing is we're just we're not turning it over as much as we were early in the season. If we don't turn it over again, we got a chance to get our inside guys going, and then once they get going, our perimeter guys can get going. We just got to make sure we take care of the basketball and do the things that we do on a daily basis. As the team chemistry evolved as the seasons progressed. Well, yeah, they're. I mean, they're a close group. I mean, you got, you know, we got 11 seniors, you know, and, and two juniors, so they're a close group. And when their backs are against the wall, they come out fighting, and like they did tonight, you know, they're down at East Noble the other night. They were down 24-9 in the first quarter, and and battled back. Here they're down 11 and a half and battled back. So they've got some character to them. Uh, we just need that character to come out a little bit earlier.